Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What does the Prime Minister think when he hears Jenny McGee, the nurse who saved his life, say of NHS staff, we're not getting the respect and now pay that we deserve, I'm just sick of it, so I've handed in my resignation. Surely even he must pause and think, what can be learned from the mistakes of the past year? What Jenny calls the indecisiveness and mixed messages of his government? And will he think again about giving nurses more than an insulting 1% pay rise? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think the whole House acknowledges our collective debt to the nurses of the NHS, and I certainly acknowledge my own huge personal debt. And that's why, uh, of all the professions uh, in this country, Mr. Speaker, in very, very tough times, uh, we have asked the Public Sector Pay Review Board to look at uh, an increase in pay for nurses. But in the meantime, we have increased starting salary for nurses by 12.8%. We have put in uh, the bursary worth £5,000. We've restored that, Mr. Speaker, uh, as well as £3,000 for extra help. But above all, Mr. Speaker, to all nurses, and I know what a tough year they have had, I know how hard it has been on the front line coping with this pandemic, we have done what I think is the most important thing of all, and that is to recruit many more nurses. There are now about 11,000 more nurses in the NHS today than there were this time last year, and there are 60,000 more, Mr Speaker, in training, and we are on target to reach our target of 50,000 more nurses in the NHS. Mr. James Day.